G'day folks, Rod Moore from Moore Art School. Welcome to another Learn to Paint Club project. Today I thought we'd do a nice little Tuscany scene with a, uh, a nice old Tuscan farmhouse sitting on a hill um, with some distant hills in the background, a little bit of a winery sort of style. And uh, yeah, nice little painting for those of us who love Italy and Tuscany, right? So I've drawn a little sketch and um, I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up there. So that's a little sketch that we're gonna work with. And there's a little bit in the farmhouse and the shapes, but just remember that everything's a shape, right? So um, the shapes are rectangles, squares, triangles. They're the main shapes for doing these little buildings. We're not gonna overly detail it. We're gonna keep it as simple as we can. It is a beginner uh, project after all. Um, but we're gonna create some depth and atmosphere into the, into the painting as well. We're gonna make the little farmhouse pop out um, of the paintings. So it's gonna be a fun project. There's a little bit more in it than maybe what we've done in the past, but that's okay, it's all part of learning, right? So I'm gonna take start off with a little flat brush. Um, step one of the more method, we need to get our drawing in. So that's what we're gonna focus on first. Take a little bit more time than what we might normally do with our drawing. So we'll just start off with some ultramarine blue. I'll just take a little, this is a little uh, cheap little flat brush, hog hair one. Um, I'll just swish it around in some water and just pull out a little bit of that paint. This one, I haven't got any paper towel. Should always be prepared when you're painting, not to worry. A um, bit more of that blue, a bit more of that red, a little bit more yellow. I'm putting the yellow in there to make it go a little bit darker, but also a little bit greener, okay, because I've got these um, bushes around the base. And there's just a subtle difference in the darkness. I don't, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the dark we put on the walls here versus the dark on putting in for bushes here is different um, because of that bit of yellow, which is important. It may not be showing up on the camera though, but when you see it up close, it's definitely, um, definitely a difference there. Spray that up. Okay, so lots of bushes around, of course, the farm, lots of plants, probably got tomato trees and all sorts in there. Pop a few dark accents here and there. Okay, 
and we'll level the front for a nice green lawn um, which will you know brighten it right up and we'll put a few little details and fence posts and things in there as we go okay so what we've got there is all of our darks established let's now switch and um, get in some light so we'll start with the back here I'm just gonna get some paper towel two seconds so for the back, we've got, the, we've got uh, this mountain range here, then another one, and then the sky. The, for the sky, um, I'm going to do that like a really soft, pastel-y, pinky type of colour. Uh, pinky, uh, a little, little bit orangey. We'll go, because I want to tie it in with the, the brick work on, you know, the, the old bricks um, that they would put into the buildings here, a very earthy, sort of rich colour. I want to try and tie the sky in with that a little bit without the sky coming forward too much. So let's get this white here and let's just take a combination of the yellow ochre and alizarin and crimson and try and create a soft pastel right now. That's probably too, too strong. Let's lighten it back. So we'll create a nice pastel -y tone in the sky, peachy sort of tone. Let's have a look at that. That could work. All right. Just a pinhead of blue, just to gray it back a little bit. I want 100% saturation and a little pinch of white, just to lighten it a little bit. Okay, so let's just test that. I think that's a reasonably good color. And this is where we're going to slow down now. Okay, so I think that's quite a, quite a good little rooftop colour. Notice the angle that I'm pulling the brush down on. So these would be some sort of terracotta tile I guess on the roof okay this one's pretty important now notice here I've got the angle of that roof line there and this one is completely different so I need to sharpen up the angle on this roof line on this right hand side just to make it match that side which means that probably need to just pull that out to there okay and down to about there There we go, it's working well.
good, good. Now I can put some little highlight colors in there a bit later on. Um, for now, we're just blocking in. Okay. I've gone over my shadow a little bit there, so I'll have to just resurrect that. Um, this one here is going to be slightly darker than these, so I'll leave that to last. Looking good, happy with that. One more over here, I'll just go a little redder on that one, just for a bit of variety. That roof's a bit bigger, so it's a bit more of a barn sort of style there. Okay, so starting to get some shapes happening in there. Now, I just want to clip a few spots, just with this tone here, just a few spots, just got to be careful I don't get it too thick, where would we go, there, down the side there, down the side there, down the side there, oh, maybe not there, very good. so we just don't want it to be full saturation so we grab it back a bit and let's have a look right through here now I don't want to just paint this heavy I want some of that under painting that gray green that I've got in there I want some of that to pop through You can see the strength of that is going to uh, really brighten things up for us. So sometimes with the more method, we just got to be patient until we get those highlight tones in. Patient. 
patience is not always easy though, I know. It'd be good to be able to get to the end result in one hit. Have a little sort of plane there. Probably going to need to go over all this because I'm, I've made the mistake of painting it in a few different directions, and uh, you know the angle that you run your brush is the way the fall of the land is often. So we'll just block this in. Um, again, I don't want to lose all that underpainting, so a lot of that is shining through. But I just need to uh, make a better job of the angle of my brush. So. We'll just treat that as a pass one for the moment. But look at look at how that's really making the uh, the little farmhouse and everything, or the collection of farmhouses. Shadow. Shadows look good across that nice uh, yellow field. Okay. Might just put a couple of marks out on this back. Just some indication of some little trees and things out in the back. Nothing too dramatic there. And go back to that dark. I'll just put a bit of shadow into the side of the path.
paint's getting quite dry and sticky. And uh, so I think that's a good indication that we should leave it around about there. I like the little doorway sort of hidden in behind the trees here. Um, but overall, I think that's a pretty good painting. I think it works pretty well. It's a great little project for beginners. A little bit more detail, a little bit more complexity in there, what we normally do for beginners. But it'll challenge you to um, practice everything you've learned from the more method so far and the Learn to Paint Club. And I think if you have a go at it, um, you know, you'll, you'll surprise yourself with, it is a very doable painting, and it's also a very impressive painting, you know, you, if you get it framed up and everything, stand back and have a look, it's going to look great on the wall, um, and you're going to have very impressed family and friends, I'm sure, when you produce this painting. I'd love to see a photo, so make sure you send it through to me. Um, always love to see our students, uh, the outcome of their projects. Um, so, you know, as a member of the Learn to Paint Club, we'd love to see your photo and I'll add it to our members gallery of uh, finished projects. Um, hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, leave a comment um, and I'll see you next time in the Learn to Paint Club. Cheers for now and happy painting.